Okay, dudes. Here we go. All cleaned out. It's not too bad. A lot better than it was. This is this is the shit that I pulled out there, dudes. This was caked in there. Right in there. Anyway, we've cleaned that out. We'll be right back. We'll check out where this thing goes. Okay, so this lower unit is going to go back in here. Now, when I <coughs> I did one of these before, but it was an older Merc, and it just had a shaft that you had to find where it lined up in the spine here. But it's a little different now that I found out taking this apart, this thing here. See this? See this hole here? This has to come up through here. As a matter of fact, what this does, well, I don't know what this does. But this, anyway, moves this. And it also, this little hole, it's got to come up through here. And it's got to come up along over top of this. And you see there's a little hole right there. It's got to line up with that. And then this piece here goes through all of it. Once it's through, this little access door, I didn't know it was there, but I figured it out. It goes like that. That pops off. Take a look at this. This gets pushed through. Seals everything. And then what you do is this just locks it in. So that's what we're gonna do next, guys. And just before we fire it up, we'll get back to you. Okay, guys, lower unit's in. Seems to be lined up there. Now the idea to get that in. There's no way I can do this like this. But that's yeah to get to get that through. Go on the other side, pull that piece in the middle through and this drops down over top like that. Anyway, be right back. Okay guys, we got that pin in. That links this is the gear. If you can see it, see it moving. Maybe we better not. But the idea is we got to go to the other side. There's a piece that gets pushed through here. Let's see if we can do that. That's a start, right? That's got to come right through. Hold on. Okay guys, lower units back on. Motor's in some water, you can hear it. We haven't fired it up yet. Everything is ready to go. So we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see what happens. See what happens. It'll probably run a little rough because we did take the carburetor apart. So we'll see. That shaft is turning, right? The shaft has to turn in order to spit water because that's how they. All right. She's cold, right? Watch that. Side.
So like I was saying, yeah, the shaft is turning. That's how you get in the water, the impeller is turning. So now we're going to rev it up and see what happens. Here. Initially, there was no change, but as slowly you could, whatever the problem was, got cleared up, guys. Smoke. The smoke is just the oil mixture, that's all. We'll take care of that. No problem at all. So that's it. That's the way I look at things, just to let you know. If something is working one night and then the next morning it doesn't work, what happened over that night? And in this particular case, there was a storm. A storm pounded the back of this boat that was up. And this is all this little shit got broken up ended up in the lower unit guys we determined what it was we cleaned it all out as a group we fixed the problem and for that I appreciate that guys and I thank you very much it's gonna be a great day